Hello everybody, it's Cinnamon Kate and I am back with another unboxing. Today I will be unboxing the Look Fantastic Jet Setter box. So, on the top, we've got the magazine that comes with it to tell you what's in the box. Then, some tissue. Ooh! Trying to escape. So, the first thing I can see are these little sachets. And this is the Mr. Blank Minty Fresh Teeth Whitening Strips. And there are three of them. Next up in the box, we have the Now Bay Natural and Organic Oxygenating Cream Moisturising. So, nice small bottle. Let's see if it has a smell. It's got a seal on it, so I can't smell you if you've got a seal. doesn't really smell of anything which is disappointing because I like things that smell nice the next item is cowshed cowpat moisturizing hand cream essential oils of grapefruit and coriander so this is the bottle it's it's really nice actually it's a very nice messy design bottle everything's on its side there <laughs> Everything's on its side there. I spilled it. <laughs> Again, not sure I like that smell. It's more um it's more herbal than fruity, and I'm not really one for herbal smells. The next thing in this box is another product by Cordley, and I mentioned this in my favourites video, I've actually got it here. Um, in a different box I've had the Caudalie Moisturising Sorbet, which I love, and I use it on my face, sort of everything below here, um, because I use a more intense one on my forehead, but love this, love this. So I'm excited to see whether this works, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's the Premier Crew Eye Cream. Um, apply morning and evening to eye contour, so, oh wow. The cream has a kind of yellow colour to it, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Kind of yellowy. Comes out from a little spout like that. I'll rub it in. But it just melts into your skin, it disappears immediately. It's got a very faint cocoa smell, which is nice. Yeah, it'd be interesting to try that. Next up we have... Uh, very nice bottle, it's the Bergamot and Pear Shower Gel. It kind of looks a bit like a medicine bottle to me. A bit, a bit medicine y. That's probably just me. Oh, there it comes. Okay, okay, that smells really nice. Sort of a citrusy pear smell. I'm, I'm all over that. It doesn't say what kind of benefits this has, but I mean, it's a shower gel. It's kind of a finite amount of things that a shower gel can do, but I'm not going to complain because it's not like it's not like you never need shower gel. Next, we have a, a box, and it's a self tan oil. The world's first self tanning oil with a beautiful, su subtle citrus flavor, fragrance, and zero transfer. That's a mouthful. Um, to get the best possible finish, preparation is important, exfoliate. So this is a self tanner. Um, there seems to be a tan theme <laughs> going on in these boxes. I guess it is summer. So Nice little bottle, self tan oil. See what it smells like. I'm not going to put anything on yet because I don't want, you know, a streaky hand or anything. I can't really smell anything. There is like a a slight citrus zing, but nothing definite. The last item nestled away in this lovely box is the Spa Magic Beauty Balm. Oh my god, is this a makeup item? It is. We finally have a makeup item in the Look Fantastic box. My complaining last time worked. So, I don't, I don't necessarily think a tinted beauty balm is the best idea for a box because I dare say people of different skin tones 
order this box and if you're just gonna be giving out one shade that's gonna be kind of useless to some people so maybe not the best choice <laughs> but we'll see it looks it's definitely a shade for lighter skinned people um, which is I guess good for me because I'm light skinned but anyone with skin that isn't pale as a winter snow is going to be lost out on this which is kind of infuriating it's not really fair but yeah it comes out kind of okay it might even be a little bit dark for my skin but that's just because I'm again pale as the winter snow oh wow that's orange okay I can already say I will not be using this because I now have a huge orange patch on my hand So I don't really know who this would be good for, you know? I mean, I don't know anyone with orange skin. Unless you're David Dickinson. He might like this. And yeah, that's frustrating, I think. Once again, that's all for this box. Um, my thoughts are kind of complicated because obviously I do really enjoy receiving this box in the mail, you know. I do pay for it, so I expect a certain level of quality. And it usually does deliver on the skincare stuff, it's usually exclusively skincare stuff, but as a box that claims to give both beauty and skincare products, it's kind of disappointing how few beauty products you get and then the quality of them. I don't like to be negative about things, but I mean this, I might as well throw this away, this isn't going to be useful to me, it's orange, and I am not orange, but I have a six month subscription to this box and that's my third box so again three more boxes to go but I don't know unless the next three boxes are fantastic and you know a lot of decent products maybe a few more beauty products but like universal beauty products because giving out a beauty balm in one shade is not the way to go it's just not practical for everyone there's probably I mean, 5% of their customers are going to be able to use this, so what's the point? So yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, shame to end it on a bit of a sour note, but that's the way this goes sometimes. We've got a few cool products. Um, I'll, be I will definitely be using the Cowshed hand cream, the eye cream, the shower gel, and the... Mr. T, Mr. T, Mr. T, Mr. Blank. I'll be using these. Um, I might give the self tanning oil a try. I don't know. I'm really not on for tanning because my skin is so pale that any tan products kind of turn up orange. But that's it for this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed. I will put links below to where you can get this box. But I would say exercise caution. If you're after beauty products, then I would recommend the Birch Box, which I have unboxing videos of on my channel um, but if you're more into skincare and that kind of thing then definitely give the look fantastic box a try I think the main reason I'm disappointed with it is because I went in expecting lots of beauty products and obviously that's not what they delivered but that that's just that was my expectation of it so again if you're more interested in skincare products go for the look fantastic if you're more interested in beauty go for the birch box there will be an accompanying blog post on my new blog, there will be a link in the description about this with pictures of the items, best descriptions, all that stuff. So I hope you liked this video, if you did give it a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Please remember to check out my social media and like me there or follow me or whatever it is on that thing. Links in the description and I will see you next time. Bye!